What's up, Bulldogs, and welcome to this week's news show. I'm Claire Davis. And I'm Molly Hotek. This week, we covered student assembly, summer school, the Leukemia Society's fundraiser, and scheduling policies. Results are in for next year's student assembly elections. BNN reporters Bryn Stewart and Chloe Lavelle sat down with these future members. BNN sat down with Will Russell, Riley Bozeman, Daniel Oderbach, Ryan Beck, and Emma Long to discuss their recent win in student elections. My name is Daniel Oderbach. I am a junior and I ran for student body president. My name is William Russell. I'm in 11th grade and I ran for vice president. My name is Ryan Beck and I am a sophomore and I ran for Sergeant of Arms. I'm Riley Bozeman. I'm going to be a senior next year, and I'm going to be the secretary for the 2022-2023 school year. My name is Emma Long. I'm in 11th grade, and then the position I ran was for treasurer. So as student body president, I am in charge of basically leading student assembly, organizing events, um, speaking with sponsors of the school and of assembly, and. Uh, just kind of representing all of the assembly in the school. My vice president, the main role of it is making any decisions to help the president out, which is Daniel Utterback, and then just any other decisions throughout student assembly and school combos. So basically, I'm gonna. There's a lot of changes happening to it. I'm gonna be making sure everyone stays honest with their attendance and that they are putting in the correct amount of effort. As secretary, my job is to take notes during meetings so that Mr. Marsh knows what we discussed every meeting and so that he can really stay on top of his game. For treasury, you just organize like everything with the money uh, with student body and make sure you have the right money for everything. I wanted to be president because I've been class president for the past two years and I thought that because of my experience there and my ability to socialize with people that I'd be a great fit for student body president and uh, I mean the reason that I wanted to be in charge is because I really like being a leader and offering my uh, kind of leadership skills and expertise to other people and hopefully to uh, inspire them. We haven't really touched on next year too much but I know some of the goals are just like can drive if you know what that is getting everyone more involved in that, attendance higher than it was last year, and just making the school community overall better. I posted something on my story. Uh, was It was a picture of them, and then I cut a picture of myself and put it over the top of it. So basically during the election, what you have to do is you have to like spread the word to everyone because you want every student to have a say in the election and you want like the right candidate to win. So basically you just have to, you know, reach out to everybody even if you don't talk to them very much and just make sure that you express what your ideals are for the next school year. And the advice I'd give someone for treasurer is you just need to find a group like I did with all the other four running that made that got elected and just find a group and go with them and then you can have a campaign ready with them. This is Britt and Chloe reporting. For BNN. Summer school is a popular option for students who wish to get a jump start on their classes. Reporters Emily Torres and Michaela Brown tell us more. BNN sat down with students to discuss their plans for summer school and what classes they are taking. Hi, my name is Mia McClellan. I am a sophomore. Hi, I'm Nora. I'm in 10th grade. I'm taking the class English 11 over the summer. I'm taking a business class over the summer. I'm taking summer classes so that I can graduate early and travel. Uh, I'm taking it so I have like, more opportunity to take other classes during the school year next year. You go through the Counseling Center on It's Learning to sign up for classes and you click on the Google form and your counselor should respond. Uh, I, go, I went on the Counseling Center to sign up and there's like a link that you can click and just register. It gets you ahead for the school year and it helps you relax a little bit. I think it's a good opportunity to try new things and especially if you don't have time during the school year to take them, then you can just take it over the summer and get credits for those classes. This is Emily and Michaela reporting for BNN. Columbus North recently concluded a month-long fundraiser to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The winning teacher was rewarded with donuts for all of their class periods. BNN reporters Caden Pinkerton and Darren Riley tell us more. 
This week, BNN sat down with Mrs. McIntyre and Mr. Munn to discuss the donut box donations. I am Mrs. McIntyre and I teach English. Uh, my name is Mr. Munn and I teach history. For the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The donations for, for, for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I think will have a huge impact. I know students were very motivated to win the contest and help others. The donations were for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I believe first place got donuts, second place, we got second place, we got ice cream sandwiches, and third place got cookies. Well, we're raising money for the LLS uh, in hopes that you know they're the leading uh, sort of cancer research uh, group, so we're hoping this money can go to cancer research and help beat cancer. I like all donuts. I can't even name a favorite. Uh, our classes all got donuts. Uh, my classes all got donuts uh, from Donut Central, so they were pretty excited about that. I also got some milk and juice for them. So we've been having a party this week to celebrate. I hope students take away the fact that it's important to use your resources to help others, that not everyone is blessed with the health that many of us have. Yeah, I think it was really fun. The students got into it. We had a real fun, healthy rivalry with some of the English teachers, and I think the students really enjoyed that. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a great fundraiser. I think we should definitely do this fundraiser every year. Um, it, it feels good to make an impact and uh, a difference to a worthwhile cause. I hope they see that they can spend money on things that matter um, and not wasting money on things that don't matter and you know, putting, putting, putting their, their resources, their money into things that will make a difference in the world. This is Caden Pinkerton and Dan Riley signing off for the final time. There have been some big changes in the scheduling system at Columbus North. BNN reporters Brian Alvarez and Erica Smith tell us more. BNN sat down with counselor Mr. Pemberton to talk about the new schedule changing policy. Yeah, my name is uh, Pat Pemberton, the director of counseling here at Columbus North High School. We are, our population in the school is increasing every day more and more and more, which is a great thing, uh, but we're running out of space, classes are full, and we, we staff our faculty based upon requests of this year. So when kids want to come and change, uh, for just for no really good reason at all that, that shifts the balance of classes. But they scheduled in February or early March and now they changed their mind and our response is we told you guys to be very intentional in your class selection. Now keep in mind if a teacher comes back later and says you know what I don't think the student should be in that class now we'll make the change. You know, we'll, we'll do that. Or if they said, hey, I didn't sign up for that class, and we look on their, their course selection sheet, and we go, you know what, you're right, we did, let's fix it. We'll do that, that's not an issue. If they need a course for graduation, we'll take care of those things. But we just can't say, I don't want to take that class now, or without a good reason, or especially in the fall, you got this lunch, and I've got this lunch, and I understand that you like to eat lunch with your friends, I get it. You know, I did too when I was in school. It's the first time doing it, and it, you know, when I was in school, you didn't change schedules. So I, I think it's uh, it's going to be tough going forward, but I think people will adjust, and we'll just uh, make the best of it. So I'm in favor of it. You know, it's just hard to admit. You, you can't have a class of 35 and another teacher has a class of 25 teaching the same class at the same time, and we don't have any more rooms. Our rooms are used up and class that we're scheduling very tight, so. This is Erica and Brian reporting for BNN. And that's all for this year's news show. I'm Claire Davis. And I'm Molly Hotek. And as always, you're watching Bulldog News Network. Have a great summer, Bulldogs.